Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So uh, I think I reflect back on a year ago, right, where I was at, and uh, man, I was a total mess. You know, I thought I was uh, doing it big, running the streets and all this, you know, and uh, as I was at my highest point of that street life, you know, uh, I, hit a, I hit a wall. Jail hit me. Like it hits both of us, you know, and uh, uh, I really lost a lot, you know what I mean? Mostly everything I loved. And uh, I thought I had a drug and alcohol problem, you know, and um, as I got clean, went through treatment, I had asked myself the next question, what drives me back to doing drugs and alcohol? And I now realize I got a lifestyle problem, you know, and, uh, and everything that comes in that lifestyle, whether it's gangs, violence, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Whatever it is I do to get myself in these predicaments, you know? Uh, so now, you know, I, I, you know, what drives me back to doing all that is my attitude and my behavior, you know what I mean? My learned behaviors, shit that I learned growing up, shit that the homies taught me. Shit that I seen in prison and all that stuff. It's all stuff that I picked up and learned it and, and, and made it made it made it a part of my life, you know. So uh, in order to change all that, you know, I had to focus on changing my attitude and my behaviors. You know what I mean? And change is hard. Change was the hardest thing for me. It's very uncomfortable. You know, and but I had to tell myself I need to start getting comfortable with some uncomfortable shit. You know, and uh, a lot of us are gonna be going through some changes. You know, we made a change. We went through a first change when we walked through that door. You know what I mean? We all had a, we all had the willingness to change, but it just don't stop there. You know, I had to focus. It's more than that. You got to focus on changing your attitude. You know, all the stuff we learn, whether it's the enemy, whether it's someone the, the smallest amount of disrespect, whatever it is, you got to think about the consequences and outcomes. Are you willing to take that that risk? You know what I mean, for those actions. You know, so. You know, coming up, we're all going to go through some changes here as far as our work. You know, showing up, going to class, whatever it can be. When we leave here, are you going to go out there and get in the car with the homies and run the streets and, and, and get caught up with some shit that you really didn't want to get caught up in? You know what I mean? And it's uncomfortable to say no. It's uncomfortable to do something that you are so used to doing. You know what I mean? It's, and it, we're, we're, we, got, we got comfortable with the consequences. We got comfortable with going to prison, getting out, doing the same shit. Matter of fact, it became fun, you know, but sometimes enough is enough. And when we walk through those doors right here, we were looking for something else. We all got one thing in common around here. You know what I mean? We all came through that door with one thing in common, searching for help. You know what I mean? So uh, I, guess, I guess my thought for the day is, you know, uh, get comfortable with some uncomfortable shit and welcome to change. Have the willingness to change. Mm. Amen. Amen. Amen.